Hi, this is Mark Delise of the Traffic Player. Now this is version five. Now this version is mobile responsive web design. And so your videos will appear on mobile res responsive web pages and be responsive. And so the, the browser, if you shrink your browser, the video will also shrink. Now this is a flash video player. And so all it takes is an MP4 file. It does not take WebM and things like that. All it will take is a uh, MP4 and you're good to go. And you'll see here that uh, you'll number after you install the traffic player, uh, it shows up in your WordPress dashboard right here on the left hand side. And you got a number of pages here. The, the global video configuration is to put in your Google Analytics code. You just click on there and you get your uh, Google Analytics code number and you insert it there because it does it tracks all your stats for your videos. Here is your manage your videos. Here it will you can manage all of your videos across all of your sites. It also has embed code that you can get and put on static HTML pages. So let me just show you a real demo of how this works. After you install it in your visual editor, you'll see a TP uh, button right here, Traffic Player Pro. You click on this and a window comes up. Let me just move my video over and you can call it for your own purposes uh, a video name. Now obviously this is also important for the for the Facebook share. So whatever you put in there, it'll show up in your Facebook share on your on Facebook posts as well. It'll go by the video name here. Here you can select the uh, self-hosted video file. It's an MP4. And you can also put Amazon S3, obviously URLs there. So you select that for your self-hosted files. Uh, you can also select YouTube URL or video ID. And also you can use any embed code, whether it's for, from Easy Video Player or any type of embed code from Daily Motion or anything that you want. Uh, you, you know, you can use embed code. So for example, let's start off with the self-hosted video file. Here you put your MP4 file right here. What's really cool is that it's HTML5. And so this line right here, any URL for mobile. Now what this takes is a uh, video file and it, it can take an mp4 you can put an mp4 there four and also takes what's really really cool is 3gp video file format now this greatly reduces the file size this format and you can convert your mp4 here and convert it to a 3gp i'll show you the software that you use for that in different file in different video but this will greatly reduce your video file size for mobile devices whether it's on an iphone or a samsung iphone or ipad and this is just awesome. You can also, uh, you can also for uh, mobile devices, they will see one video on mobile devices and a different video on your desktop browser with this file right here. Very, very powerful. Um, here you can see set your dimensions. And so you first have to select if it's a 16.9 or 4.3. And this will auto populate. So if I click on a 4.3 4 ratio, you'll see that these ratios change. Uh, these are 4.3. 4, you can also manually select your own width and your height. So let me just select on the 16.9 and I will select, uh, for example, 640 by 360 uh, and as defaults and this is automatically populated these down here. Uh, here you can set a control bar, you can set it to auto play, I'll play on or off, I'll set it to uh, off. Uh, you can auto hide the control bar, yes or no. Uh, control bars on or off, I'll have the control bar on. You can also scale it to half size or to fit or original, I'll just leave that alone. Also, you can have a skin. You can have a skin. There's no more image skins. Now, these are CSS skins that are mobile responsive. So, for example, I'll select, for example, five border, and it's going to be solid. There's six different border styles, and I can have the skin color. Oh, this is pick something funky here. There you go. And I can put a corner around the border, for example, five pixels. Here, I can set the background opacity. This is for the pop-up window. You can also have the video redirect when it finishes. And you can have the splash image to have at the start and put that there. Also, what's really, really cool, you can have an intro video and an outro video. So what happens if you put an MP4 file right here, it'll play this one first, then it'll play your main file up above. And then also you can have an outro video that plays at, at the very end. This is great if you have an intro uh, that you want to change up or if you want to have a closing that you want to change, you simply just put it right there. Here you can center the video. You can add social buttons to uh, self-hosted videos only. The social buttons are Twitter, or Twitter, Facebook, embed code, and email. Okay, I'll leave that on. And here you can choose your different skin. So if I click on that, there's a lot. Of, there's five different uh, control bar skins that you can select from. I'll choose that one right there. So I'm going to select a video file, and this is going to be a demo right here. It's a stock video, 
and I will select this one right here. There's my page there. So I'm going to come up above and I'm going to put that MP4 file right there. And it's going to be 640 by 360. And I'm going to simply just uh, have no, no redirect and I click on the insert button. See that? And a traffic player uh, image shows up in the, in the visual editor right here. And I'm going to publish this page. And this is how you simply add a simple a video on your WordPress page. So I'll view, view this page and you can see there that that's the video right here. And as you can see, it adds a nice little skin around it. See that? Add some social buttons on there. And so that's a cool video. Now if I come back here, uh, if I come back, I can click on manage videos. And you see that this will globally, you can manage all your videos. You can see on right here, I have uh, two videos that are on here. I, this is the demo that I just made that I just showed you. And here I can come over up to the right and I can edit this video. The pop-up will, will appear and I can make all my changes and save it and it will appear right here. Uh, also, I can grab the uh, embed code right here, generate HTML code. And there's an embed code. I can put that on static HTML web pages and so forth. So this is just one of the features of the traffic player and I will show you some more cool features of the affiliate traffic player part that's integrated into this theme. Thank you.